recording. Do you have anything you want to say? No, I don't have anything you want to say. It'll pull out oh. Well, we're up at the lot in the snow, and Paul's going to put up the for sale sign. We noticed on the drive up that the log cabin has a mound of snow on the roof. We'll see if we can get down to take a picture of that. Do you need to brush away a tear? Try to walk down through the snow, so this will be a jerky picture. Think of the number of logs we have carried up from this slope to the road. And Paul's pointing out where the truck scraped the tree in the accident last summer. I think I better shut this off and walk down. No wild flowers at our feet, but it's still beautiful. Intrepid pioneers are finding shelter. Well, whoa, <laughs> I am knee deep in snow. Well, Paul, what? Oh, mm, this is going to be a terrible movie, but takes, now why don't you get over by well, the cabin? Just, just shoot in there. And Anna and Elizabeth were sitting up there last summer. Joel and Adam. Oh! oh. Out of the meadow, but I'm too close to really get it. But where the snow has drifted, it comes above my knee when I sink down in it. So we can't see our meadow path. 
we can see our piles of wood. going to drive to the level to see if they're around. I see a light there. I think I will go back to see something. Okay. We'll inform our neighbors that the lot is for sale. Take one last shot on the way out. It's a very cloudy day, so you can't really see the mountain. That's off. Why would the red light be? Are you sure it's off? Did the button? Is March 28, 1992, and we have arrived at our new home, which we acquired yesterday. It's snowing down here too. Why don't you go ahead, Paul, then I can follow you. Well, oh, I remember when you're moving, it's going to be jerky. I know. Right at home, doesn't he? We plan to enlarge that front porch, put a little eyebrow roof over it. be in here, but Paul is getting the fire going, and unfortunately we cannot see the mountains at all because of the snow today. Let me go to the deck door.
Paul's right is the uh, stairway going upstairs. It's small but cozy and comfy and when we get the kind of colors we want it'll be better. The door in your view there is the uh, space that is just now a closet. Uh, and I'm afraid we can't use that for a basement stairway. I'll show you the upstairs. This is the window at the front. A very small bathroom, half bath, but adequate. The other end of the upstairs. A small deck beyond the curtains. And there is a closet here. And then there's storage, and believe me, it's full all along under the eaves there, under the eaves here, but we feel that it's quite adequate. Downstairs. Welcome! Hi, Anna. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. Are we glad to see you? Hi, Pumpkin. Hi, Elizabeth. It's not so big. It's not so big. No, it's not real big. Why don't you go upstairs, Anna? Where is it? Up here? No. Come this way. Come on. Oh. Hold it. Hold the door shut to keep the heat down. Great! Yes, it is. Can you wave to Grandmother? Hi, Michael. Can you wave to Grandmother? Hi. <laughs> well, what do you think of the upstairs, Elizabeth? Thank this you. is Can terrific. Can you come and get it? Well, we brought a pot and potato soup for lunch. Oh, oh my goodness. Sick. So crackers and fruit. No. And down in the basement, we found those heaters. Oh. So to have those if you don't have the furnace on. You have a the basement? This is incredible. What's the basement? Here we have Stephen, his first weekend at the cabin. Stephen! Deb, do you want to say hello to the camera? Deb working on the baby books, as usual. Thank you, Nancy, but you have to do some up. Moi? Yes, you. Well, I suppose that's possible. What are you doing? Oh, look at it snowed out. Hi, Anna. Hi. Smile, you're on candid camera. Look at snow. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi! <laughs> Michael, Where's you going to play hide and seek? Where's Michael?
Did you hear a song when you came? Turn her head cross to see what was happy, happening and slip it back toward Leonora who then let go of her tail. Continuing upon her course, the captain alive, arrived in Mommy. Leonora's nap. Left. Um, um, does she um, live in the cage, Leonora? Not that I know of. She would settle down again until she began to feel the urge to bask in the strokes once again. Leonora lay back on the cushions and took a crust to her, which she began to pleasure. The sex went slowly to and fro like a pendulum. This was too much for the turned over woman. She pushed her way past a fat man with a broad red face who had shoved her himself very slowly around his head, holding everybody up. So at last he got his son and stuff to the air in discourse. It was so hot to hate because that kind of stuff was running off Leonora's body. She hated it because she had to scrub it off each night, but Mr. Blackson thought it matched her better to the gentle beauty. Can't, can't have you looking too white. White with a Thank you. It won't be artistic. And kind of blue. Nice. 